so this novel is told in alternating voices. The first, Audie Lee Henshaw, and the second, Caledestri. Why don't you tell us a little bit first about Audie Lee? Audie Lee is um, one of those two smart by about 20 miles, uh, small town slash country women who were just a little bit too big for their situation um, and were sort of desperately uh, roving, moving towards something that they, they couldn't quite glimpse but they knew was out there, driven to explore, um, and also tortured by uh, her own personal history. She's an or orphan, effectively, and feels it in many ways. So she's both striving and struggling, it seems mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Kala. Kala is um, quite young uh, and is also in very difficult circumstances. She's effectively being fostered by a couple in the town of Marvel, Indiana. Um, and the fostering situation isn't going so well. She's haunted by her own demons and finds herself in this crucible moment uh, right in its center the day of this lynching that occurs in, in Marvel. Uh, and she knows that she needs to get out of town but she's got some business to attend to first. Mm -hmm. And she's the kind of person who, when um, she needs to get something done, she finds a way to do it, for better or worse. Mm -hmm.